Hey guys, and welcome back to Zeldude's Play Skyward Sword HD. Yeah, last time we finished the uh, mining facility, right? Lanayru mining, mining facility. F forgot the name of it there. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, this time we're going to go up to the sky, and uh, I don't even know what we're going to do next, to be honest. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't know. We got some. We got some Skyloft side quests. I, I guess. Oh, um, open up the Thunderdome. Uh, Fledge. Or the Fledge will have uh, oh. started his push-ups. I think. Right. That's after the mining facility. I think. I, I think uh, so. I'll be honest. I'm not sure at this point. It's kind of a blur. Um, after like the first three main dungeons. It's crazy that we're already done with the first three dungeons, and those are like that's like the slowest arc out of the three arcs within the game, right? Everything starts to pick up a lot more um, from what I yeah. feel like, right? Because it's in a lot shorter. Like, um, in terms revisiting. of like the narrative as well, you know more mm -hmm. about what's going on now and it yep. feels like, you know, the quest is speeding up. I think in terms of like sheer time between dungeons, probably now is quite a, a long period of time, right? Before we get uh, what's next? Uh, Ancient System, right? So... Yeah. We have to do, uh, like, flooded Faron and, uh... Um, oh, yeah, I think we're gonna start doing the, um... We'll see. I think the Silent Realms are up ahead now, which at least are fun. I enjoy them. Um, yeah, you're right, because we need the, the Water Dragon scale, which you get yep. from the Silent Realm. Which, yeah, I, I, I know, you're right, they are fun. A, a lot of people don't love them, mainly because of how, kind of, absolutely terrifying they are yeah but, still, but they yeah. can be pretty easy um i want to just spend okay we're just gonna spend money for the sake of okay well we don't have that not that much money, money. <laughs> <laughs> let's just buy a bigger wallet actually let me do that uh hopefully it's oh, yeah. in my price range oh and we have to little okay it is uh we have to literally carry it as one of our inventory items like in our pouch which kind of sucks but i could definitely use it it's really weird the the item management in this game because you wouldn't think something like this also has to be carried with you no it doesn't never mind i was wrong uh, thank god yeah it's, it's like the seed satchel and bomb bag that are in the the pouch yeah but, yeah um, i thought this one as well was okay good i mean he is selling another pouch but it might be more than 400. wait did i get money back right. wasn't it three wait what how do i know have... it was what it was 100. he said it can it can hold up to 300 but it cost 100. oh okay i, I okay <laughs> it was a good thing you paid attention because <laughs> i was like wait what <laughs> <laughs> all right well, that's it's usually though. the other way around i'm usually not paying attention at all and just talking away while you play <laughs> <Yeah>. the game <laughs> but okay let's let's actually spend some more money let's just get rid of every rupee we have um so we don't come across that issue no wait what the shield's not there yet i thought it would have been available by now. um yeah maybe it's after we beat the imprisoned or yeah, yeah it's around now in the game i think you can definitely get it before the ancient system so yeah we'll get it soon but yeah you're right i thought that was that was sooner than later yeah um wait Let's see if we can upgrade, I guess. I, I mean, I don't want to make more, like, space in my pouch for those bags as well. To me, that's just going to be annoying. But you can, wait, you can literally upgrade your, huh? You can upgrade your pouch. I don't remember this for some reason. You can. Yeah, it's just, and yeah, holds yeah. more. Um, so you don't have to buy an extra one and take another inventory slot. You can just have one, and it will do the amount of two. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, did you check, did you check Beetle, how much he was selling that? the extra inventory slot for. Oh, is he selling one already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, well, I, I didn't, but oh, sweet. <laughs> we get the speed upgrade. Oh, nice. All okay, right, at least something. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to upgrade something. I want to make this worth our while, because, okay. yeah, this is, yeah. Uh, this is not much. Um, I mean, I definitely have to grind a lot, sadly. There is a little bit of that in this game. Nowhere near as much as the later games. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, to upgrade your... You could tell... I, yeah. They'd started having those kind of ideas. Um, but, you know, we've said a few times in various LP episodes and podcasts that kind of RPG elements in Zelda is quite cool. And, uh -huh. you, you know, grinding for things to upgrade your equipment, that feels very RPG to me, which is nice. Because it's something the Zelda series has always kind of like almost done, but never quite gone full RPG. Uh, I think mm -hmm. probably like Zelda 2 is the closest because you, yep. you actually level up Link and things like that. Uh-huh. 
Uh, to be honest, I have no clue. Oh, so we had to. Oh, okay. Now I know. Sealed what, grounds. What was that about? I actually didn't know what I wanted to do next. Hey, here he is. Um, yep, should we should we go wait until nighttime? Do you think it's actually now? Should we check? Y yeah. If it isn't now, it's right after we do the imprisoned. I I can never remember what events trigger what. Hey, yep. it's it's me. Yeah, right. Kind of, I was gonna say he kind of <laughs> looks like you, bro. Like if you were a uh, a knight here. It yeah. would be uh, Pippet. Uh, I don't. I don't rate the yellow <laughs> tunic. Uh, I don't think that's my style. What color? Or blue, right? Yeah, it's got to be blue. I think, uh, right? The, the yo, tunic. it's that's not me. I'd <laughs> 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 be like Fledge, but not. I'd be. I mean, I look like none of them. Let's be real. <laughs> People it's say like, look at gear him more. That's what I would be apparently. I'd be it, gear it's, him. it's the hair. It's the hair. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> was yeah. there a little bit of thought about Girahim when going for the no, hair? <laughs> no, I mean, his. it's funny. Oh, nice. Uh, a gratitude crystal. Hey. It's funny because that hairstyle is, yeah, like associated with a lot of, you know, different styles. But like, yeah, when a lot of people see it, they immediately think I'm kind of going for that. But it's like, not really. It's just more so like, you know, I, I just like, you know, it kind of looked cool. You know, I, th I thought it kind of reminded me of like, you know, not Dragon Ball Z per se, but anime in general, you know, so I kind of went with that. But you, when you see it on a real person, you usually think of like a Karen, right? You don't see, you don't think <laughs> of uh <laughs> Can I see the manager? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay, no, but, he is doing the, the push-ups. Yep. Okay. Sweet. Um, so it was worth it. Right. So we'll have to go get green potion. Um, yeah. Um, so I should have grabbed one then. This was a waste because I have to wait until daytime. Hopefully, do I not have one with me? Or no, he only will take green, right? So those are the only yeah, ones that will give him green. the roid power. I should have just grabbed That's one when I had the stuff, chance. Because yeah. I don't, <laughs> wait, how do I, there we go. Yeah. Uh, At least I have an empty you, bottle. There you go. Can you sleep in his bed? Or is that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. There, well, there you go. He can sleep in it. Link can sleep in everybody's bed, right? Like literally, he's always enter welcome. A house. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Which is interesting because oh, so in uh, Tears of the Kingdom, I guess it makes sense why you can't, because uh, you have to pay for an inn. If you're sleeping in your oh, bed, yeah. that'd be. Yeah. You only sleep in yours. Yeah. And then I, uh, I think I don't know. I've always felt that the the stables overcharge you a bit for. Oh yeah, you know, it's like, not the, even the, worth a dime. When no, you can just restore. Your <laughs> well, you HP. can just, yeah, you can just restore your HP and sleep at and a, sit. a campfire yeah, just sit. or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do like the the different sound effects it has for for like the different um, premium options. You know, there's like the the Zora oh, yeah. water bed or yeah. uh, or what else have you got? Um, I can't the remember Goron, the Goron bed. Yeah, thing yeah. Where Link just gets destroyed yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Oh, hey, I like how she mentions she the stamina. stamina. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's buy it. And I'm probably going to... You know what I'm going to do since we're probably going to have to come back here? Instead of going back to Fledge and wasting time, uh, at least we spent some money. So now let's go to Faron because we're definitely going to have to come back afterwards. I like how he's selling arrows when we don't have uh, a bow yet. Ah, spoilers for later items. Yeah, but like something, uh, I mean, a 3D Zelda staple, or even <laughs> 2D, right? Like, I, from the very first Zelda game, that was a thing. Actually, I want this. Yeah. Has there been a Zelda game without the bow? Uh, Adventure of Link doesn't have the bow, right? Yeah, I don't think the 2D um, one has it. Ah! <laughs> that was close. Yeah, I like how you can land on it, though, so you don't need the... Um, the hookshot for that one once we well it's not like no. we activated it but if once we activate it we, we won't need it i think um, it's another one over near the waterfalls you need the the claw shots for yeah uh but anyway this is this is such a great this cut scene that we'll be getting oh, yeah. in a second yeah. yeah but what follows after might not be so great if i remember correctly because i think this is the first time we have to deal with ah okay no it's uh, fine yeah you're right this will be number one of three uh, mm -hmm. rounds with the imprisoned, yeah, which, yeah, I, I saw someone left a comment on one of the previous, well, actually, I, I'll, I'll say it in a sec, I need to watch this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here he is. Like, how did he, 
like how did he think this would work what was what was going yeah. through his head when he made this jump like <laughs> this was suicide and how did he land yeah. i guess he jumped off his loft wing too he reached the giant beacon and just plunged with land. right yeah <laughs> but uh here we we see uh Canonically, the first name for the Kingdom of Hyrule. Oh yeah, is not the Kingdom of Hyrule. <laughs> Groose Land, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's not used to seeing tiny birds. I guess you only see loft wings. Oh, if you only see loft wings, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why Bruce. he's so surprised of the Goron because let's be real, some people on Skyloft look just like the Goron. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, he's, I think he's one of the best one-off Zelda characters, right? Yeah, 100%. He has, he has the most character development we've ever seen in a Zelda game. Like, yeah. from literally yeah, the yeah, bully yeah. to the... And, and from the guy who wants your girl to the guy who's, you know, completely supporting you in every single way. And, you know, just... Yeah, he turns around a complete 180. Yep. Like, yeah, because you, you hate him at the start of the game. And mm -hmm. then by the end, you just end up <laughs> loving him. He's so great. Dude, yeah, Link, the way Link just pats him, you know, on the side there, and just like, and it starts like, man, Link is just such a cool dude. Like, the dude's freaking yeah. out. He's like, just relax, buddy. Let me tell you what's going on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I love how Link is just so composed at certain moments. I mean, still, he shows a lot of emotion, but it's like, damn, yeah, this is the the most we see Link act, and. It's so cool to see, like 100%. Groose has literally bullied the crap out of the dude, and the, like Link shares no ill will. Just like nah, he's above it. Know. He's above it. Yeah, yeah. completely <laughs> above it. Like you gotta respect that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's really it, you don't really find heroes like that, to be honest. Usually the heroes have some cockiness in them. Link has zero cockiness, um, which yep. is really nice to see. But here it is. So I'm just on the edge of my seat waiting for him to call it Bruce oh, Land. Yeah. Oh, this place is Here we go. Area. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> we call it, here we go. Groose Land. Bruce Land. Land. <laughs> and the music is just like kind of all like warped and wonky. Like the, the game doesn't even yeah. agree with how silly this sounds. And Link, Link <laughs> doesn't even agree. He's like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So, um... Yeah, and true, he, and he becomes, you know, Impa's, uh, not caretaker, but, like, they become close and everything. If anything, that's kind of insane how, because you never see Impa interact with, like, anybody else besides Link and Zelda, and it's, like, Groose is the only one who kind of fits in. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cause, yeah she's always Zelda's nanny, and then tells Link to do something related yeah. to Zelda, uh, and that's mm -hmm. about it. All right, he's off. Yeah, off. Off he goes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so let me see if I can get lucky. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I scared him. I should, yeah, I should have done that. Uh, with this guy, what's he on about? Is he going to tell me about... Um, okay, research. I think it's like when you start... Yeah, the walls. Oh, you can get like a piece the, of harp. the harp stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can I do that now already? Uh, let's say huh? I've seen one. I think there's yeah, one we got right it. here. Yeah. Because we haven't played it yet, but I don't know if... You just have to strum near the wall, right? I don't want to talk to him anymore. Yeah. Oh, and we did get the harp. You're right. So technically we can do it now. Oh, okay. Nice. It just immediately uh, enters my inventory. Okay. Uh, then let's see. Where's where the harp? Is it? uh, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's a dedicated button? No. Oh, maybe we can't use it yet because we haven't used it before. Oh, maybe. Yeah, uh, maybe we have to go to the Seal Temple, yeah. Because yeah, it yes. should be right here or here or something. Somewhere. I think it whatever. was down that thing we just climbed. I, I, that's the, what I was uh, thinking, but I'm like, whatever. We'll, we, we'll check it out later. Yeah, we'll Let's, come back. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we first have to figure out exactly how to make use of it. Okay. Well, he's not the kindest guy. <laughs> at least right now. <laughs> I like her. Oh yeah, her name is just the old one. Is her, did she have? Let's say Impa, when she speaks to us in the past, or in the or her past uh, self, because she's still speaking to us in the present. <laughs> the, the young Impa, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's called Impa. But I think, uh, wait, we've seen her talk to us, right? What did it say there? Yeah, was it just that's like what I'm saying. That's what I was asking you. I, I wasn't. Paying I don't attention. think. 
I don't think it's Ed Imper. I don't think we're, we're meant to know she's Imper yet. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. And I think this one's always the old one, <laughs> even when you know. I don't know. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, really? Even afterwards? Well, I think, because hmm. you only, the, the, the twist is only kind of Oh, yeah, like about, the ending Oh, cutscene. there you go. Look, there you go. She just said, she just told us that the young Impa is called Impa. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. However, now that Impa has destroyed the game. Okay. There we go. Okay, so she's t talking about herself in the third person. Right. <laughs> and did this actually happen? Like, she didn't do it. Her young self is doing it without her having done it. Or did she do it? Like, because that's a crazy paradox. Like, you know, she... Yep. It is it. a paradox. She but yep. she oh, did do go. it. She did She did do everything. Yeah, because she's... You see, she's wearing the bracelet um, yep. that Zelda gives her. So, yeah, like, the, there's a few inconsistencies. There always are with, with time travel. Like, um, where she's sitting right now isn't that where the master sword pedestal ends up being mm -hmm. um i'm behind pretty sure oh maybe maybe it is behind the stone doors uh, no it is behind either the, way the door closes at the end of the game or, of course yeah. it does yeah but either way the the pedestal doesn't exist uh until there's a few you know until the end of the game with the whole time travel thing um but yeah time travel inconsistencies they, they don't really bother me you know that you're always gonna get it and yeah like the point in impa is like it is kind of a weird loop, um, but yeah, what a, what a cool character, what a cool twist on, you know, the Impa character in general to have a past and present version, both yep. working on the same adventure and guiding kind of two halves uh, of the adventure. It's it's brilliant. It's really really good. Mhm. Mm yeah, easily the best non-main character within this game, for that reason. Yeah, yeah, most interesting at least for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I just love her design as well, like especially old Impa with that kind of <laughs> really I, thing on her. Yeah. It looks kind of silly I here. Cool. I mean, I love her design in the past. I don't know about the present. Oh, I think it's cool the way she's got like her hair in like a metronome or pendulum <laughs> yeah. or, or something. Yeah. Uh, but so anyway, yeah, we learned Ballad of the Goddess on the on the Goddess Harp. Yep. So do you know what it says on the Gate of Time? The uh, this bit, I actually don't know. Um, wait, wait till the camera moves around and see if is it is it highly in letters? I can't really remember. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh yeah, uh, I actually don't know what that says. No. Uh, Probably time I'll have a travel, look. <laughs> gate of time, something. Yeah, I'll make sure. Uh, I'll make sure I've learned what that says by the next time <laughs> we come and visit this. <laughs> yeah. I know that the gate of time itself, like on the. On the cover of the game, right, on the box art, it says, uh, you can translate it, it says things like Din Nehru or whatever, but in the game, it doesn't say that, they, they use a different model or whatever. But mm -hmm. anyway, we're being, we're being interrupted, we've got a bit of a rude awakening here, by one of the most controversial Zelda bosses, I think, of any game. Um, yeah. Just because of the, sh the sheer amount of, of fights, there's three separate times we have to fight this guy. Mm -hmm. And every time he interrupts us like this, where it's yeah, just insane earthquake going on in uh, the sealed grounds. I again, I don't mind the first battle, but as time goes on, it does become a drag. I remember this was like the go-to, you know, criticism the game had. You know, everybody yep. hated it. But I feel like having played it multiple times, it's like it's not as bad as it seems. I think it's just like. By the last time, you are just kind of done with it, but like, it's, it's, I, I, even I blow out of proportion from time to time. It's not really that crazy. Like, yeah, you know. I think it's, it's over hated. Like, I don't think it's great by any means that you have to fight it over and over. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's not, you know, it's not gonna affect my enjoyment of the game completely. Cause you know, especially once you've done it a few times, it, it's not all that bad and you can do it quite quickly. Uh, yep. Even the third fight isn't terrible, and to be fair, the third fight is quite fun because you got the Grusinator. Uh, and like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it's just it yeah, being think... timed is what makes people hate it because you are yeah. literally timed. Because right, it's meant to be stressful that if you you know it can't get to the sealed temple because uh, there it is. Yeah, because if it does reach the sealed temple, it's a um, it's a unique game over, which are quite rare in Zelda, where like something can happen that gives you a game over, aside from Link just losing all his hearts. Like, uh, yep. 
You know the end of the Minish Cap, where if you don't reach Vati in time, uh, mm -hmm. he proceeds with sacrificing Zelda and you get yeah. game over? Uh, yeah. Yeah, obviously this. Yeah. But I that think, one uh, seemed more so like it was never going to happen unless you really screwed up. This is, this is like truly the game expects you to mess up once or twice. I feel like the one with yeah. Vati, it's like it's very rare. You have to really like just mess around, right? Um, I mean, I don't me. know whether I'm just terrible at the uh, the dark nut fight because <laughs> sometimes that takes about. Five oh, cause see, yeah, I I don't think I've ever reached like I never actually had that happen. I never even thought that was possible like until like yeah, I heard you and like other people say I'm like oh yeah. so you can mess it up like I thought that was just yeah. like you know to up the stakes make it seem you know bigger than it really is kind of like you know even with no nah, but i mean in, in hyrule castle and ocarina of time when you're escaping it you literally this can. looks so stupid by the way oh yeah no, i mean his <laughs> dude his entire design is uh. so silly like a giant thumb like he he's <laughs> ridiculous uh um, i think people would be less critical of the fight if he looked better more looked menacing less like an avocado yeah yeah exactly <laughs> Like, this is uh, literally the rotten avocado like the that little... rolled under the, the fridge, and you find it, and you're like, oh, crap. Right. <laughs> Gruesome I think you little can. egg Oops, toes. I yeah, I meant to pull out my thing, but I think, yeah, you can skip. Wait. You can do that, nice. which is pretty yeah. nice. Yeah. So you yeah. could really cheese him. Whoa! Link, okay, at least Link <laughs> catches himself. So, you know what? Let's uh. just do it one more time. This is... Wow, it's actually so easy if you just do it like that. We don't even have to bother with his giant toes. Bro, the, do yeah. the dude looks like a toe with giant basically, toes. Like basically Tears of the Kingdom. He does look like a toe, you're right. Yeah, yeah. with toes. <laughs> That's like toeception. Yeah, I think there's... It's kind of just a problem with... Uh, well, you know, it's, it's subjective. It's not a problem, but Skyward Sword bosses in general, I think, are either... You, there's a couple oh, of really cool really, they, or really silly? Most of them, yeah. I think they're I either agree. really boring or really silly, like Moldarak. And then there's a few boring. cool ones, like... Kaloktos, um, what else is a cool design? Um, it might be it. Oh, uh, Levias and the Bylosite, I think, is quite cool together. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, then you get things like the Imprisoned, Skaldera, Tentalus. Uh, yeah. And they all just kind of, you know, you can't really take them seriously. Because, like, the Imprisoned is this ancient demon king, the source of all monsters, trapped in this form by the goddess in an ancient age, and now he's returned. But he just looks so dumb, you can't take it seriously. <laughs> yep. And his first form, it doesn't help that he doesn't have arms. I do like the yeah. scales and like how that, you know, translates to his true form. We see that, but I wish there was more references, you know, and like, because his, his true form, Demise, actually looks really cool. Like, really it cool. It looks amazing. I yeah. remember Demise, that's one of the first times I remember, like, ever being... Well, I suppose it's probably one of the only times I've ever been, like, spoiled on something in a Zelda game, right? Because most games before Skyward Sword, you know, I didn't really um, follow the things on the internet before I beat the game. Um, then Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, I played you know, by myself and deliberately didn't look at spoilers. But Skyward Sword was kind of in between. And I remember I was on the Zelda wiki in kind of 2011 or 12 or whenever it was that I was playing the game. And I was on the Imprisoned page and you can like toggle between the Imprisoned and Demise. And I did mm. it accidentally. So I got a glimpse of the Imprisoned's true form. And I remember being so upset because of how cool he looked. And I wanted that reveal to have happened to me in the game. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it still yeah. works because the end of the game is so cool. But I, just, I, I don't, I love Demise. And I really wish I'd, you know, felt the full impact of seeing his form properly in the game rather yeah. than being spoiled on the internet. I mean, I spoiled myself. It's my own fault, but, but uh -huh. still. <laughs> Yo, how did Impa come all the way down here? Did she? Yeah, she did wow. Yeah, she was walking she's slow. faking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because right now she's like hunchback, limping. Like, Groose just came yeah. down. Has Link's been standing there for like 30 minutes? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, but she like waddles up to you so slowly. But like, I, I, when she's off camera, she must have been absolutely pegging it, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On this music, man. This right here? Yeah. This, I think this is the same one that we heard uh, during the, um, what's it called? When we first pulled out the goddess sword, right? When we were waiting yes. for daytime. 
Yeah, man, every time this one plays, man, I, I love how they utilize it like this. It's so good. It's just like easily one of my favorite tracks. Was this the one that um, it, uh, at PAX East 2020, you were you were going on and on about a song from Skyward Sword that you really wanted to find, but you couldn't find? No, and I'll uh, show you we what like, it is. It's okay, funny. Okay. Yeah, it's funny that you remember that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will show you what it is because we're okay. almost there. I think we're literally super close to getting there. And it literally does not exist in the soundtrack. So this one does. Oh. This one. This one does. I think I remember what you're talking about now. Actually, I think right. It's the it's the light tower, right? So we'll see yep. it soon. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you yeah, literally cannot find it in the soundtrack. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. We'll make but sure, I made to, sure to shut shut up for a minute when we get there. Then so, we will. Yeah. So the viewers and, can and hear the music. Funny enough, I made sure, and I like how she's uh, she's mentioning that we literally have to find the sacred flames in the, the sacred same flames, three areas. Yeah. It was it was a big. It was a big excitement that became a huge disappointment when I first played the game. Cause I'm like, oh, wait, there are other areas in these, you know, these places that we haven't discovered that we're gonna now discover for the first time. Like these areas are gonna expand. We revisit them and they're expanded, but it's like, oh no, at least for the first two areas, you just revisit the same area. Lanero at least does expand. Like there's a huge part of Lanero we haven't yet discovered, but uh, literally yeah, that's Ferron definitely the and biggest. Elden is the same. I mean, yeah. you get Lake Floria in Faron, which is I, there is know, that, but that is it's, a new, it's contained. Elden it's, though, Elden, you're Elden right. There's nothing. kind of nothing. No, new. well, and no, there Lanero is. I guess they is all the best. they all have small things, but like this, at least this visit here, uh, the, the when you first come back, you're just revisiting areas you've seen before, and then it slowly opens up. Yeah. But like, yeah, no, no, Elden technically has inside the like volcano part, you know, where it's like way too hot. But it's yeah. still, yeah, those yeah. areas are really small. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, we get a little flashback here. Yeah, that's cool to see. And it's ruined by <laughs> Gruce. He's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> this <is> music, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we man. go. Look, there's the f first example of him admitting that maybe other people are right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knowing that he, it's like, it's literally the realization of someone who's so self-centered, realizing, oh, I'm not the protagonist. <laughs> yeah. There's more important people than me. <laughs> yeah, because in his head, it's, it's the legend of Groose, right? It's, it's his game. And uh -huh. Link's just living in it. Yeah. And I mean, there are literally people like that, you know, and it makes sense. He literally had like henchmen. He was like the the big tough guy. He felt like everything revolved True. around him. He's and now he's finally big realizing main character syndrome. Right. Mm. We don't do this yet. Right. Yeah. Not yet. I uh, know. I think we need. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Do you think, uh, I mean, I think it is pretty much confirmed that I'm I think there's something about it in Hyrule Historia, and I think there might have been an interview about it as well. But it's quite cool that, you know, we've talked a few times about Skyward Sword introducing, like, the origins of traditional Zelda things. And it is quite cool how the Goddess Harp is the exact same as Sheik's Harp in Ocarina of Time. Because uh -huh. she says something along the lines of that the, the harp has been passed down through the royal family by the time of Ocarina of Time. So... You know, we can assume that after Skyward Sword, Zelda takes it again, and then, um, yeah, it kind of lives on in the royal family until it gets to Sheik, which is quite so. Cool. It, it, is the design the same too, or is it just confirmed in the sense of like um, we we know it has to be the same one? No, but like, is it designs the exact same? Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Like, even um, down to the kind of little uh, bird heads uh, on each side and the shape. It's technically a lyre, not not a harp, but it's uh -huh. uh, close enough. And yeah, it's, it's the exact same thing. Okay. Um, how do I pull out my harp? Oh, yeah, oh there you go. Oh, there you go. X. Yeah. That's really weird. You'd think it would be a D-pad item. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Wee. So this is just a goddess, yeah, okay, I got it. A, go a gossip stone. Gossip stone, yeah. Yeah, apparently uh, they existed do... even back then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Do we have a bomb? Uh, ah, nice. Oh, can you have them cool. explode like an Ocarina of Time where they become a spaceship? Yeah, you can do also, you can do even more in this game. Like once we get the the whip, you can like whip them and, yeah, I think do the bomb. The bomb's the best one though, I think, uh -huh. still. Okay, let's watch it. Here you go. Going blasting off, and then you go, ding. 
Nah, is it literally like Ocarina of Time? Because I actually don't know this. Oh, did you say? Okay. No, it, do, it doesn't cool. do the countdown. No, yeah. it doesn't do the countdown. But still, that's pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah. And it just comes uh, back. Wait, yeah, go, go all the way to the left. Oh, yeah, no, I, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check that oh, out yeah. in a sec. Oh, okay. Um, cool, cool. I, I was going to see what, what is inside this now that I looked at it. I'm just curious. Oh. Huh. More of them. Seeds. Great. Yeah, yeah. Totally worth it. But okay, yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. I believe. No? Is it oh, here? I... I swear I saw... No. Uh, there's I always feel like the, it was, the I feel like it was up here. It. Yep. Maybe you're right, yeah. No, because then, yeah, there's no goddess butterflies. If there's no any... butterflies, yeah, it's not there. Um, there definitely is a goddess wall here, though, right? Um, yeah, no, trust me. I remember, I remember it, too. So it's like there's no way we're both... Yeah. I feel like it would have been here. I don't know why. Yeah. Do, do some of them only appear later? Look at Link's run when he's got the half out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, whatever. We'll figure... I feel stupid, though, because it's like we both know, but we don't know. It's like... I'm sure there's a goddess wall here. Um, yeah. But anyway, it doesn't matter for now. We'll be coming back to this area quite a few times still. Oh, go on. Mm -hmm. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh my kids, I can't <laughs> move this stupid like literally I, I end up doing it and it's like this is this is how he swipes. Ugh. He's just like an idiot. Like, bro, do it right. Like, what is this? How do I curve it? Like I don't know how to like do it properly. Whatever. There you go. <laughs> the old windmill no, technique. That was definitely not it. Okay, so now I believe we go back to Skyloft and we're gonna uh, yeah, because you need to to turn the windmills, right? Because uh, we're oh, yeah, we're gonna need a scrapper, right, to get to the the thunderhead. Is that really already? I feel like that was later on. I don't. I maybe you're right. Mm, I'm pretty sure you need to turn propellers to to access the light tower, right? And yep, you gotta. Isn't have that what you one, need? And this one needs a yeah, and this one specifically is what the. Okay. But that, that, was, that, that was very weird. Yeah, that yeah. needs the fan. The, the one that falls... The one that fell into Elden. Yep. Okay, yeah. then while we're here, since either way we're coming back to Skyloft regardless, let's, let's uh, give Fledge the potion, yeah. Um, and then we can look into that, I guess. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in Skyloft. Um, oh, we can... Uh, vacuum a woman's house if we so choose. Now oh, yeah, we have true. the the gust bellows. Yeah, yeah we, uh, and gratitude crystals are definitely worth it because we'll get some better rewards over time. Um, okay, then we'll, we'll do piece by piece. I think Fletch's gratitude crystals though are like you don't get them immediately. You gotta like let him progress, get stronger. I think yes. All that. By the end, when he's doing you know like ten thousand push-ups or whatever. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, literally thousands of them. Yeah. So, okay, take it. <laughs> take your roids, man. You know, we're in, it's nighttime. No one's here. We're just alone in the room. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, so, I, I don't think it matters what you say here. Right? Uh, you know, no matter what you're encouraging the same thing. him. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting how they give you a dialogue option. But, yeah, it would be funny if you could be like, nah. And then he ends up uh, not getting stronger because you didn't give him the motivation. And that was truly the right. key. Um, yeah, because this game, it does give you dialogue options, but usually they're kind of... Um, meaningless. Like, fakes the wrong word. But yeah, like they, they lead to the same outcome anyway. Yeah. Uh, there's not really much you can do in Skyward Sword that kind of, like, where there's, like, a choice that affects things. Um, oh, well, I mean, speaking of, you can choose to... Uh, to Give that guy's love letter oh, yep. to the, the that's toilet. That's the only one. Yeah, that one's <laughs> um, really. That's literally one of my favorite side quests within the series. But I think At either way, in this game. it doesn't affect anything, right? Because you still get it's, the same amount. No of No matter what, you uh, get gratitude crystals. Gratitude crystals. Yep. Yeah. Um, yep. It's just who do you want to upset? And it's like I'd rather upset Colin. Always than, give it to the hand, right? Yeah, like screw, screw yeah, Colin. Yeah, yeah. No matter what, he gets. <laughs> he gets. Um. Whoa. Okay. Oh. This guy's. Freaky as all hell. Oh, but is yeah, he I don't gonna? Like this guy. Oh, that's it. I don't. I don't need that. Uh, Wait. I, <gasps> he I has it he now. You... 
Hey! Oh, so yeah, it must have been that. imprisoned. It must have been yep. imprisoned. Yeah. yeah, sweet. Finally, this is E. Oh, but I need to make room. It's, oh, it's so expensive. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> well, he's not happy, but I don't have the money. Um, okay, well, first let's make room. Hi. So. There you go. She. Oh, wait, everything's she, starting hey, there after we go. This. Yeah. She's starting to like us. Yeah. She, should I play her or should I just be real with her? Um, nah, let's string her along. So, yes, it's true. We just yeah, say that? Yeah. All yeah, right, we true. really came for her. Of course, we well, only came to see you. P. Trice? P. Patrice? P. Trice? Yeah, Patrice. Pat is it Patrice? But, but why is it P. Trice? Oh, P wait, her Trice. dad. Her dad and is called P-E-A uh, something, right? Yeah, it's um, just spelled weird. It's just a family spelling, I guess. Yeah. Um, but it's because uh, it's like that, Peter, that a bird? right? With an A. It's like oh, or something like that. Yeah. Or Peterson or something. But is that a bird name? P Patrice? Like Partridge? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. Because like Do most of them are uh, kind of bird related. Like, um, oh yeah, someone pointed out in the comments. Uh, Love, you know, the, the potion shop seller. Obviously, uh -huh. that's a bird name. Like, Love Bird. Yeah. Because she's, you know, the woman with the husband. Uh, uh -huh. I think my favorite is Fledge. That kind of makes the most sense because he's, you know, scrawny yeah. at the start of the game and then buff <laughs> by the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what about Pippet, then? Pippet, yeah. Uh, Pippet's my favorite, so I feel like I would actually like to know what bird. I don't know. Um, if you know the origin of Pippet's name, let us know in the comments. If he's based <laughs> on a bird or... I, I don't know. Um, uh, what else okay, have we got? So... Have we got? Uh, right. You could do... Oh, Fletch. Wait, if you do the... Uh... Oh, okay. If you do the vacuum quest, that's uh, gratitude crystals, right? That's not rupees. All right, yeah, we'll just do that and then we'll figure out what to do next. Okay, let's just... Yeah, let's, let's at least do that. Um, and then let, let me actually... A give away the gratitude crystals I got to the. Oh, uh, you can get you can get rupees off uh, off yeah. him. So maybe we'll we'll have enough for the sacred shield if we do that. Mhm. Mm okay, so let's let's clean this lady's house because she really needs cleaning. <laughs> um, it's crazy because Pippet's such a well mannered, respected young, you know, lad, and then this is his mom. This dirty, disgusting, it's like just. Ratchet woman, <laughs> like <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like, what is like? How did she raise such a well, you know, respected, you know, young man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it makes no sense. Where's Pippet's dad? Like, I'm curious. Yeah. Like, how does it? How can it possibly get to this state as well? <laughs> yeah. Like, like the 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 Skullchiller House in Ocarina of Time doesn't look this bad. <laughs> Literally, it's like bro, this is her bed. Like, why is it so crusty and rusty, man? That's just messed <laughs> up. I like how we have to knock down things to clean it up too. I mean, like right? no yeah, lights she doesn't coming care in. About that. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a house this dirty. It literally reminds me of that meme where it's like, I don't know the goof troop character. Like, you know, you live it like this. You know, talk about it. it's like absolutely <laughs> yeah. ratchet. <laughs> It's like, yeah. is, w would that be the red flag? You know, like, well, I guess we're both we, in relationships, so that question wouldn't she, make sense. She takes you back to hers, and it looks yeah, like this. Yeah, it takes this. you back. Would yeah. that be a red flag for you? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that's it. It's like that. Uh, there's that one episode of Friends, you know, where she has like hamsters living in, or not, not hamsters, like rats, hamsters, living in like this big kind of pile of crap. Yeah, no, uh -huh. I think yeah, that's, hamsters that's wouldn't line, be bad. It would be cute, you know, like oh, yeah, I, I quite like hamsters. hamsters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. I don't know why I said hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, there you go. Look, much yeah, better. So like it's, nice. it's so bright and nice. so bright and pink now, yeah. You know, <laughs> who would, I wish cleaning, though, was this simple. Just, you know, dust everything and, and you're done. Yeah. Well, I mean, we did smash all of her <laughs> pots. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 21. Nice. That's, okay, uh, we, that's enough we for, were, for a few rewards. Yep, so, and um, oh, uh, 21 smackers, man. Okay, we got, come on, that's that's not that good. <laughs> 20 smackers won't do oh. anything. Uh, all right, let's, yeah, let's, let's, don't let's, tell, don't tell Pippet that she paid us as well. Let's, right, because she's like got, spending got an odd the poor dude's money. Yeah. The dude just wants to get oh, some bread, pay course. rent. 
Right, because they end up like <laughs> shouting at each other at night, don't they? Yeah, no, um, he's working night shift, I think, because that's of this. It. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, what a horrible like the mother and son. Uh, yeah, literally mother and son know. relationship, like Skyloft damn. drama. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like the yeah, mother is the one that's irresponsible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's let's, uh, get, some let's get some goodies and um. Yeah, what have uh, you got for us? No, oh, you need 30. No, he wants 30. You suck. Wait, what are we Damn. on? Was that 25 or 21? What are we we're, on? Yeah, we're um we're sitting uh, on 21. I think 21 uh goddess. Yeah. 21. Or goddess. I'm uh, trying to think friend. of things that we can do. We There's can a do, couple um, we can get at night and then we can do uh uh what's it called? Fun Fun Island, you know, the clown thing. But uh that's that's when we have scrapper, so We'll do that at the same time as the light tower, right? I assume. Um, mm -hmm. What else can so, you do? Uh, side quests. Um, I don't know. Why don't you sleep? We'll, we'll have a look around at night. Okay. Because you're right. Uh, there, there's a few different things we can do. Well, here, let's, let, let's enter this house we just cleaned. I mean, it should be nice and tidy. Yeah. And beautiful. Oh, it's still okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to... Because I know it gets dirty it does, I guess once you leave It does Skyloft. reset so quickly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny how that works. <laughs> <laughs> it's like video game logic at its finest, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what does she want? Oh, okay. We will. We, you know, since we were she, talking about Pippin and key. controlling at night, let's actually see if uh, he is gonna complain about his mom real quickly. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and of course, see this piece of crap. Really, leave me alone. The remlets. Yeah. You know what? I'm not done with you. <laughs> and then let's pick it up. And you hate water? Well, drown. It's like okay, they don't like gremlins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way it's like uh, this game's version of the the cuckoo or um, you know the pigs in Wind Waker. There's always like mm. some cutesy animal in a Zelda town that if you. Uh, yeah, but you well, you gotta you don't even have to attack the remnants. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, the remnants just have a dark side. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so actually, from what I just remembered, one of them you could see Kapora showering, but he's uh, but it's, uh, <laughs> bathing. I think we need uh, we need, a hook, we need a hook shot for that. Yeah, because yeah. then we yeah then we see Zelda's room as well. Yeah, but I think Pippet uh. should be here patrolling. I th let's see if he actually says that about his mom. Uh, okay, so interest out at night, and yeah, okay, oh. patrol route. Does he mention to protect? Oh, okay. How admire? Okay, do to your job. Oh. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Never mind. He for money. Come on, it was for money, right? <laughs> That's the pippet That's way. That's the pippet oh. way. Yeah. Really? Uh, maybe if I uh, maybe half. if I said it differently and didn't put him on the spot. Crap, what if I oh, what if I didn't say now. that? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I wonder um, if that's it. Um, is there a gratitude crystal here? I think at nighttime we could pick it up with the beetle. Oh, don't you need to bring him like pumpkin soup or something? Uh, uh yeah, something true. I never picked the, that up. And the lumpy pumpkin. Um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's one up here. Nice. Cool. Yep. Uh only eight more to go. <laughs> yeah, we we didn't really make <laughs> much progress there. <laughs> Yeah. Um, no. Okay. Why don't we try going to the lumpy pumpkin? I think because uh, we didn't fix the chandelier, right? Should, can we do that yet? Or oh no, you don't fix it. You have to do the mini games. You have to like balance the pumpkins and play for them. And yeah, I think there's. I'm sure there's something we can do over there. Uh huh. Uh, maybe I was wrong. That's the pivot way, no matter what. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, what a, what a good lad, man. He just wants to work. I feel like eventually or something. I don't know why I feel like that happens. Maybe later on he'll get more comfortable with Link and tell him. I don't know. I mean, all characters, like, as you progress throughout the story, minor things change in Skyloft. You know, as we see Fledge trying to better himself. And there's a lot of other things that just generally change. So, um, I think, yeah, maybe we can eventually trigger it. But, yeah, yeah. Should, should we do the Lumpy Pumpkin then? Uh, yeah, why not? Um, okay. Well, let's just find a random bed to sleep in, because in Skyloft, every house is an inn for Link. So, screw it. Yep. For free, yeah. Oh, I do wish I you could fly went, at night. 
I should have actually I should go in the one with the screw them. I should go oh, there, the wait, there was a wait, go back in. There was a, a gratitude a gr crystal just. Oh, it was just sitting? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say I should go into the one with Patrice so we can um see the dad because he comes back at night. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh true. I nice eye, bro. I, I actually didn't spot that at all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because at nighttime there's just a bunch of gratitude crystals like all throughout. I think like a good ten or fifteen can be just found. Uh, spare yeah. spare ones like that. Um, which, yeah, yeah I wonder what the, the game. It's time oh, yeah. consuming. I wonder what the point, like why they exist, right? If 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 a gratitude crystal is like. Um, you know, like the opposite of malice or something. It's like happiness made manifest. Oh. Then why are there ones just kind of floating around mm -hmm. like by themselves? Well, well maybe so, uh, that, that maybe like, you know, somewhere there nearby that area, really? Nearby that area, maybe they, just, they had so much gratitude in one moment that it just kind of bursted out a little gratitude far, I don't know. <laughs> that, do that doesn't sound great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, there he is. So is it? Here yeah, it is. is Peter with an A. Peter, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it, and you got you got to remember the reason why his name is that is not the, the ignore the P. It's because he's <laughs> in the, okay. That's a horrible joke. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, what, what I was gonna say before when I saw him, like, bro, this is probably me in thirty years, man. <laughs> like <laughs> twenty. <laughs> okay, relax. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. like, the weight gain, no, but it's more so the hair, because it's funny, because, I mean, I kind of style my hair like that, this is kind of the style, but it's like he's balding, yeah. so it's like, he's Yeah, in your hairline's style. better than that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, luckily, I mean, my dad and his granddad, they had their hair, so, um, oh, yeah. I'm hoping my hairline think, doesn't recede. Was it you meant to look at your mum's dad, or something like that? Oh, really? Because he was bald at 30, so... Oh. Well, mate, I, I, well, you got like a year, then it's just all gonna fall out at once, <laughs> right? No, no. Well, luckily it hasn't receded at all, so like I'm hoping, I, yeah, I don't end up like this. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? But yeah, to me it's just hilarious because again, it's like the wannabe, you know, just weeb anime character who's <laughs> yeah. in denial that like, bro, you got chunky, man. Like that shirt <laughs> is just not doing you just because this is okay. This is his old Skyloft outfit, right? So it's like he's wearing his old school uniform in denial that he gained Whoa, this much weight. He's like bulging out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's even got the green as well, like Link. Like, oh, look, yep. his knees all his knees all patched up as well. You right. can tell it's like an old outfit. Dude, this is Link in 20, 30 years, actually. That's what we're seeing a glimpse of ourselves. <laughs> I'm kidding. <Yo. laughs> yeah. That'd be a cool Zelda game, though. No, it wouldn't. Like, imagine playing as like washed up Link and he's just like, you know, you know how they make, you know, movies and, and stuff like that where it's like, you know, I was a hero and now I'm a nobody yeah. and it's like, you know, this is my life. And it's like, that'd be kind of funny to see. Like, what does Link do after his adventure? Is like, his yeah. youth is over. It's just everything. got like a, a quarter of the stamina gauge he normally has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he has like the giant stomach. Like, have you seen uh, Into the Spider Verse? Like, how like there's oh, uh, Peter too. Uh, Peter Parker. Peter, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like just fat. That's my favorite Spider Man. I'm like, yo, that's the one. Like, there's finally there's a Spider Man I can relate to. You know, like I never really relate with them. Right. It's like there you go, a guy who just loves pizza and just eats his lazy. pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. I think so, yeah, I, I guess we kind of messed around towards the end, but maybe it's a good spot to end off, and next time we'll actually focus on the objective and see what we're supposed to do next, right? Um, yeah, I, yeah, um, seems as good a time as any to end. Uh, yeah, well, yep. see you next time. Yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.